And now I'll open up Safari. Now Safari is, of course, the native web browser for macOS. And I'll just move this to the left a little bit. And to launch the Safari preferences or settings, it's command comma. And here we go. Cool, now when I'm browsing, I'd like to continue where I was last browsing. So here under Safari opens with, I'm gonna change that from a new window to all non-private windows from the last session. Now remove history items, I'm gonna change that from after one year to manually, and that way I've got more control over what history items I save or delete. Cool, start page favorites will of course be favorites. File download location. Now I'd like to be prompted as to where I'd like to save file so I'll change that from downloads to ask for each download and then remove downloaded list items and I'll do this manually as well. Right next I'll go to tabs and actually I'll leave this as is I'll go straight to autofill. Now I actually use Bitwarden to manage this so I'm going to deselect all of these and then go over to search. Now at the moment the search engine is Google I could change that and I'll change that to DuckDuckGo and I'll also use DuckDuckGo as the search engine when I'm private browsing as well. Cool, I won't worry about any of the rest of these. I'll go straight to advanced and I wanna show the full website address. And that is it for the Safari settings or preferences. I can close out of there. Cool, next I'll go to view and I wanna show the status bar. So that's status bar is now on. Cool, so these are my favorites and these are the preloaded favorites. So to edit those, go up to bookmarks and then edit bookmarks. And what I'll do is I'll expand the favorites list and I'm gonna delete all of these except for the Apple and iCloud links. So I'll select all of those, shift click to select all and then click delete. So now if I open a new tab, so command T to open a new tab, I can close the bookmarks tab now. As you can see, these are my favorites and I can add my most used websites to this list here. Cool, so to edit this start page, I'll go down to the settings icon down here in the bottom right hand corner and I'll click that and I can change any of these. So I'm gonna remove the background image. I'm gonna also remove reading list, series suggestions, privacy report, and I'll leave the rest of these enabled. And that's it for Safari.